Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of V's View. My name is Craig Boschman, joined alongside by the head coach and general manager of the Penticton V's, Fred Harbinson. Fred, it was the second weekend in a row. The team played three games in three days. It started off Friday in Powell River against a very good team and a very tight game as well. Yeah, it's always a, a tough place to play. We've had some success over the last few years there, but uh, you know, usually a tight checking game, a, a, a game that you have to show patience. And, uh, and and you know, I thought our guys did that and hung in there until the third period where we were able to you know break the game open. Saturday was a matchup between the first place team and the last place team in the standings, but the Cowichan Valley Capitals gave you a very good game as well. I think you, you, you look around the league. I mean, uh, top to bottom, it's, it's probably the best year uh, in my time in the league as far as the, the parity that everybody's been wanting. And uh, you have, you know, we knew going in there. I mean, uh, they've, they've had real struggles on the road, but they've been pretty good at home. And, and it was another one of those games that we had to scratch and claw to get the two points. Sunday afternoon was the first afternoon game of the season against a very good team in Victoria. And unfortunately, came out on the wrong end of a 6-3 game. You know, going into it, we, we, you know, we talked as a staff and I felt that we needed to get through that first period, either tied or ahead. And uh, we scored the first goal, came out looking pretty, pretty well. And then, um, you know, Victoria, you got to give them credit. They pushed real hard, uh, had a lot of energy in their game, got that 3-1 lead. We had to really, uh, you know, exude a lot of energy in the second period just to get close. And then we ran out of gas in the third. Now it's tough to lose the final game of the month, but over January, nine wins, one loss and one tie. A very impressive month for your team. Uh, much better than last year's January, that's for sure. And uh, we've got 12 games to go before the, the playoffs start. So we uh, you know, need to kind of reset here now that we've had a loss. And we've got three more big uh, road games before we get to play at home. Yeah, Merritt, and Friday, or Merritt uh, this Friday, Salmon over on Saturday. Those two teams aren't challenging you for playoff positioning, but these are two teams that might want to play spoiler for teams at the top of the division as well. And they're teams that you could play in the first round of the playoffs. You never know, right? So it's, uh, you know, Salmon Arms won six in a row. Uh, Merritt goes into Wenatchee and, and loses in overtime and then, and then uh, you know, w wins a big game there on the Saturday night. So again, like I said, the parity is uh, the teams are real tight from top to bottom. Appreciate your time here, Fred, and we'll talk to you next week. All right, thank you. We've got date night covered. Find movie listings from around the valley under the Our Town button. Click a poster and watch a trailer. <laughs>